so I'm gonna have this talk again. Uh, we are jumping into a game uh, which is gonna be a best out of three format for the semi-finals or these are the semi-finals of the winners bracket for the Just for Dota 2 Cup and uh, it's gonna be uh, Enro Griffins versus uh, Avalanche. Enro Griffins will be playing on the Radiant side and Avalanche on the Dire side and we actually load in just now so that's very good. Uh, we have uh, my or my co-cast today is uh, Exodar, hello. Hello. And uh, yeah we just jumped in right into the bands and uh, Darkseer is already banned and uh, Prophet is already banned. Yeah, fast fast bands. I'm out here. It's good because uh, we had to wait a little bit for before this game was uh, able to start, which <laughs> took quite a yeah, bit of time. Definitely. So uh, it's good that they make some haste now. Anti mage band, Chen band. Nothing really that gives away a lot. Um, no, uh, we, not. we have seen uh, Enro Griffins banning out the Chen all the time, though. And I wonder if the, if they're gonna ban out another, or if they're gonna ban out Shadow Shaman again, uh, because they have the tendency of banning out pushing heroes. And then going for Tidehunter as first pick, and we have indeed the Radiant as a first pick at the moment, so they would be able to go for that Tidehunter. <coughs> we'll see. If they do so, then it's like a a thing. It's a theme. A what? A theme. Oh, a theme. Yeah. A okay. reoccurring <laughs> theme. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have. And uh, Shadow, Sh they banned out Shadow Shaman, like yeah, I said. Yeah, they banned out Shadow Shaman. And there was no instant Tidehunter pick though, so they might go for something else this time. And uh, yeah, Invoker is banned, which is a shame, but yeah. <gasps> oh, this is <laughs> the first time we're gonna see him play oh, on a on a on a an, in a match cast. That's what I mean. Yeah, definitely, <coughs> and yeah, pretty cool. I I really love Shadow Demon. He's such a great supporter. Um, His teeth are so odd. What? What is odd? No, <laughs> his teeth are a bit weird. I don't um, think they would be very sharp. They look so flat. They're just so big. Is he has like a horse mouth, but then without lips? <laughs> Sorry, Windrunner is being picked from the dire. Yeah, Windrunner picked up and, and uh, usual pick, but uh, Shadow Demon, I like that. Are I we like gonna it. see him in the middle? <coughs> Who? Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon in the middle. I, I wouldn't think so. I, I, no? I mean, yeah, m many people play him like that in the middle, but I think the competitive teams they more play him like a really. Good supporter because he's. I think he's he's very stronger in the lane supporting a hard carry. Because he can harass greatly and and his um yeah his uh, I don't know. He's. I think he's better than a supporter. But yeah, we have um, Weathermancer on the dive side. Yeah, that was not not a, another weird pick there. I think the radiant are not sure yet what. The, oh, so radiant. I mean, Enro Griffins are not sure yet what to go out. <laughs> Tide Hunter. Yeah, okay, the one that we were expecting anyway. And we might want to see... Maybe we will see a Warlock again, or still Asia Deparation, which I told you about. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. But, um... I think the Asia Deparation, I mean, it's a great hero overall, but... Yeah, if there's no real heal on the... on the um, Dire, they may, might want to get something else, I don't know. Because you can't really counter anything with Apparition. Mm, true, oh, but it, it was played. Yeah, it was played so good yesterday. Yeah, we'll see. I mean. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Age <laughs> deprivation, and Why it will be played by oh. Eid, oh, yeah. signature hero. Yeah. Yeah. They okay. They with the apparition, some nice global presence then. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, we'll probably pr prevent some of the more. Yeah, some of the healing heroes like Omni Knight or yeah, Necrom, Necrolite. I don't know, but yeah, I don't see them picking up anyway. So no, I think um, it will help against the mechanism. Yeah, there, there is no. I mean, the Dire still ha it has two ba two picks now, but uh, these two heroes don't really define what, what they want to go for. Oh, two no Crystal Maiden. Yeah, Crystal Maiden, hardcore support, very good hero. Nice nukes and. Um, Yep. Yep. Nothing giving away nothing. Like right now, there's only side solo, maybe the Windrunner and two strong supporters. So I think uh, I s I've seen Team Avalanche uh, kind of ruling with a Crystal Maiden before, but I can't really recall. Would be curious to see uh, how they work that out. Um, it's a good pickup, uh, regardless. But I I think uh, 
Maybe carry crystal. Nah. <laughs> no, no. I think that was another team, right? Was it? Was it Avalanche? I think that we we saw some one team and then I had a BKP on the on the Crystal Maiden at some point. Yeah, and also. in the Midas as well. We and had the Midas. Yeah, I think wasn't that team Avalanche? I thought it was. I don't know. Anyway, we have banned out Nikes and Enigma oh. from the from Enro and yeah. from that Weaver. might uh, indicate they might want to go for Pudge. Pudge. Oh, <laughs> you still will counter. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's uh. I think they did the same yesterday, and they went for Pudge indeed, or some team did anyway. Okay. Uh, and the Dyer are, are banning out carries, which is probably a good call because the Radiant will want to carry. Oh, and the Dyer as well. So the the Dyer as well. So the Radiant has first pick, and yeah, they're the Void is still in there. The Ricky Maru is still in there. Um, yeah, but they wouldn't want to pick up a Ricky Maru now because there's still so much opportunity for the Ra to the Dyer to be just pick up a Slaughter. Yeah, but the yeah the dire can just pick it up as the last pick maybe that would be a possibility or yeah we'll see there as I said the still the face is void in there who is very strong yeah the strongest carries in my opinion and I'm I'm still thinking a pudge I don't know maybe even an obsidian is strong I would like to see that as well because uh, that's such a great hero and. He could really destroy the die right now. They are also squishy. If they went for Obsidian Destroyer, that's uh, yeah. I, I still see Obsidian Destroyer as a relatively new hero in the in the pool, and he doesn't get picked up a lot. So is Shadow Demon. So, and so is Shadow Demon. That <laughs> would be a very nice, like, original team, so to say. Yep, definitely. Oh, they went for a stun instead. Yeah, and that's probably a good decision. I need another another hardcore support or a hardcore support, so yeah, the Shadow Demon can probably more concentrate on getting um, some items. And they, we might even see the Shadow Demon or the Apparition. One of them has to go side solo, or or they do two dual lanes in one middle. But um, mm. yeah, right now they don't really. Queen of Pain. Have so. Was the uh, no? That wasn't the same team. Never mind. Queen of Pain. Uh, we see her pick up picked up. Uh, a lot more lately. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, yeah. she's an overall good hero. I, if if you want to end the game right in the middle, mid mid game, then yeah, she's great. She's just not so great in the late game. I, I think. No, it's I don't. Well, her ulti is so powerful, but it doesn't scale that way well to late game, even with yeah, the Eganim scepter. Yeah, and she really needs needs some items to to be effective in late game. Some great items. <gasps> Sand King. Sand King. So they don't really have a hard carry. Nope. Uh. Oh. Oh. Oh no. That, I don't know. And it was with oh. with you when I saw a game or when we casted a game where the Vengeful Spirit was actually the carry. Vengeful Spirit was gonna go mid. Mm, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, uh, then it might have been might have been Sunday. We, we saw a Vengeful Spirit going uh, in the middle lane solo mid, and. Uh, Having quite a good time with the farm. Yeah, Vengeful Spirit sometimes is played as a hard carry. Also by Navi, for example, they play her sometimes as a hard carry. And um, yeah, the Dire now they're really thinking because right now, I mean, I mean, because now the Queen of Pain she can she can carry against all those heroes from the Radiant uh, from from Enro. Yeah. So unless the Shadow Demon is gonna go uh, be a really good carry. Shadow Demon, I don't, I don't think he's a good carry. He's he's good as a supporter. He can go as a ganker as well, but as a carry, mm, I don't, I don't see him go as a carry. We'll see how it works out. It's his, uh his damage doesn't scale so well. True, but his magical damage is quite a lot. Yeah, but you have to. I mean, you need time to to get this to get his magical damage up. You need. Several of those charges from his um, uh, what's the name? Uh, from this poison thingy. Yeah, I I, uh, I just noticed by the way, the radiant had only had one second left before a random pick. Oh yeah, that's true. That's quite a. Uh, I didn't, and I'm noticing now that the dire is having a hard time picking one as well. I think a punch would still be nice in their lane up. Um. Yeah, uh, I I don't think the sand king was such as. Good pickup because the, the Dyer has so much that can go through that sandstorm also. Oh Mirana! Oh my God, we forgot the Mirana. Yeah, soul pick over land. But now I think the lanes are quite strange. Well, maybe Queen of Pain mid, um, Windrunner side soul and try lane. 
with the Mirana and the Crystal Maid and the Venomancer. And for the Radiant, I'm not really sure they could do. They could actually do anything. Yeah. They could. But may maybe they'll just have a ganking uh, duo with the uh, with the Vengeful Spirit and the Sand King, and the rest uh, semi solo. Yeah, but then they don't have to carry. They they can. I mean. <laughs> I don't. I mean, you don't actually. You don't want to send Titan on the on a soul lane, I think. Um, and yeah, Shadow, uh, Shadow Demon and Apparition, they can they can go solo. That's not not a big problem. But Titan a solo, I don't know about that. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just see. It. Yeah, I'm, I, yeah, I'm I'm curious how this will work out. It's, it's uh, we see one of the. Dyer has oh there we go has not picked his hero but he just did. I will uh, go over Enro uh, how they uh, have uh, distributed their heroes. Uh, like I already said, Ed is playing the Asian Deparation. No surprise there. Black is uh, is gonna play the Sand King and uh, seems to be going on the bottom lane. Uh, Vengeful Spirit. Uh, ooh, oh oh there. Vengeful Spirit being played uh, by uh, Renox. Uh, on the top lane together with uh, with Eid and we see Natural playing the Tidehunter and he's going top two so it's gonna maybe be a tri lane with the Shadow Demon in the middle probably being played by Crush or will Agent Deparation maybe uh, switch yeah, we'll see how that how they will do that they might want to try to gank someone first uh, Dyer all yours okay so um, on the bottom lane we have the Windrunner played by Dutchman, um, yeah, side solo. In the middle lane, um, we have the Queen of Pain played by the Black Gypsy. Sword. Yeah, yeah, the Swat Zigeuner. Um, <laughs> on good. the top lane, we have the Venomancer played by Boxgrove, the Crystal uh, Crystal Maiden played by oh. Block. I will just call him Block. And the winter, uh, no. uh, The Marana is uh, already in a little bit of trouble, but the gill went off and uh, just a little bit of harassment incoming from the Chris Maiden. Actually, the Tide Hunter might be in deep trouble here. Why is it going towards. Uh, there! Oh, he's eating his way through with the trees! Wow! Yeah. I think it could have gone the normal way also, without having to wor having to spoil his tangos, but. Yeah, there's some uh, harassment there. And, yeah. But the last one, the Simirana, played by Melpack on the top lane as a hard carry, I guess. So, yeah, that's lane sent. We have Black on the bottom lane. Once yeah. again, soloing with Sand King and. And once again, soloing versus the Mirana. Ah, uh, Mirana versus the Windrunner. Let's see if he can uh, own this lane as good as we saw in the previous g game. Yeah, and also the Shadow Demon is in the middle lane. Oh, and Rush he's gonna lane. be so annoying for this uh, for this Queen of Pain with his. Stupid copying of heroes. Sorry, he's great copying of heroes. <laughs> I've only played against him so far, and he's so annoying. Ah, oh, well, he's he's very fun. Ooh, to we play. see Crystal Maiden. It's gonna turn into a first blood when the last hit goes to the Vengeful Spirit. She got cold feeted and gushed and stunned, and there was just nothing that Venomancer could do to stop that. I didn't miss the first blood. Yay, win! <laughs> yeah, so first blood goes to Enro and um. Pretty good start for them. Yeah. Very fast first blood. I wonder who's gonna be the one taking the farm. Oh, never mind. It's gonna be the vengeful spirit gonna taking the farm on the bottom lane. Oh, uh, and the queen of pain really getting her ass in the lane. This two charges from the um, from the shadow poison and double three charges. It will really hurt now when it when it takes off. But the shadow demon on. Oh, you're using lots of mana now. But yeah, you have a lot. Whoa. Of and the queen. Hello to self. Ooh. She's really hurting down there. Yeah, that's a really tricky middle lane for her. And we see that Dyer stacking a bit in the force. And pushing that lane uh, back. But the crystal. Oh, she. Crystal Mane was already gone again. She's good. Um. Yeah, and they have to stack on this creep camp because the other creep camp is uh, is warded. We won't yep. spawn any there. Yep, and on the bottom line, there's nothing, nothing going on there. Yeah, they're all pretty passive except for the Shadow Demon, who's once again harassing the Queen of Pain. Yeah. Three. 
three stacks up or no? No, no two. It, it, the, the stack thing doesn't go through the disruption. Yeah, it does. Oh. Thought it didn't. All his all his skills work through, this, through the disruption. Also, soul catcher. Well, not the demonic purge because you have to target it, but soul catcher and um, shadow poison <gasps> they work through the disruption. We just missed uh, venomancer getting killed off by the tide hunter on the bo on the top lane. All he was able to do is get a gale off. Oh gosh, no gale, 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 gale. So let's start for uh, for the griffins here. Um, but uh, we see Shadow Demon being harassed back a little bit for the first time. That's the yeah, first. That's and yeah, he's running out of mana rapidly because yeah, spamming this Shadow Poison, poison that's really <laughs> not good for his mana. I mean, it costs 50 mana per per cast, and he also pushes his lane with that. So, yep. Power shot's gonna go through. Never mind. Same thing is gone in time. <laughs> Yeah, and on the top lane we have one thing. Yeah, still pulling the creep come there, but not not with huge success because yeah, the Wenchel Bird now gets some of the experience there. Yeah. And I yeah. This uh, Titan Age Operation. Uh, yeah, she they leave Wenchel Spirit alone quite a bit for the experience yep. there. Uh, yeah, they are wanna go. They wanna go for the crystal maiden, and they're gonna if they get nah the stun. And we're just not enough range to get a stun off. But they uh, will set off for venomancer instead, and the cold feet go off, goes off. Stun goes off. Last hit goes to the age depression. Uh, Ventral spirit is in trouble. They're being frostbited by the crystal maiden. Last hit goes to the crystal maiden also, and uh, there wasn't anything that uh, Ventral spirit could do there. And at least they got uh, one for one this time. Yep. Uh, pretty even trade. Um, meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Black is really low on HP now, but he's going for the Windrunner. He is going for the Windrunner, and Windrunner, instead of attacking him, is is running, which I don't think she should. If she uh, stood still and attacked a little bit, uh, she might have had a chance. Well, the Sand King already has a Ring of Health, so he's be fine, and now Windrunner might really be in trouble. Yep, last it goes to Sand King once because nobody there. Duh. Just uh, right clicking down. I don't think she expected that. That he would go there with uh, such low health. Wouldn't you want a bot back? Rage buyback. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much a waste of money there, I think so. Yeah, but uh, she has uh, Winter has 17 last hits and Sand King 24, so he is, uh, you know, he he, uh, he won the laner anyway. Ooh, 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 yeah, ooh, and ooh. as I said, he's. Oh, never mind, he teleported base. I thought he might have teleported somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, and he has a ring of health, so he's really, really hard to harass for the Woodrunner, so. Yeah, I think uh, by, the, by the buyback was a, a pretty good call because she would have been able to kill the Sand King if he didn't teleport to base. Yep. Um, and she she has some free farm now while uh, waiting for the Sand King. Actually, if we if we look at the creeps, the base look pretty even right now. The middle lane is really even. Oh, it's there. Twenty three four. Oh, where are they? Oh, they are just having for some fun. Uh, 23 for, uh, for 7, oh, for 25, wow, I just looked at the Marana. Marana has 7 last hits. <laughs> Poor Marana. Yeah, that's, that's not good at all, but... Nope. Yeah, the Winter and the, uh, the Queen of Pain are doing pretty good, as I said, it was 25 to, um, last for the Queen of Pain and 23 for the Shadow Demons, so they are not really, yeah, not, not really different, but, um, yeah, the, the problem is right now that the Venture Spirit has way more losses than the Marana, and that's not, not good. I think they had just twice the last hit. So, um, that's, yeah, the Mira Mirana really needs to farm and she doesn't get it right now. No. Oh well. Um, yeah, if we look at, by the way, if the experience is still quite even. <laughs> tri lane versus tri lane, it doesn't give away that much. And in the middle lane, someone we have oh, oh no, oh. never mind. Do we have we someone have in trouble? Things away. Yeah. Hey, she is in trouble. She is definitely in trouble and she will die. Nice work for the Shadow Demon. Yeah, great it's combo. It's nice to see Shadow Demon in action uh, this way. I, I wonder if he's gonna if he's gonna go gang soon, or is he, or if he's just gonna be happy uh, to be able to continue his farm as he is now. Yeah, I wonder as well because I don't know. Uh, well, actually, he doesn't really need to gang soon, soon because they are winning all the they're, lanes. They're winning the lanes. Well, that's at true. At least the bottom lane is. They not they don't win it, but it's yeah. They're not losing it. Yeah, definitely not. So, it's. 
Well, they even and yeah, Black even has a kill on the Windrunner, so on Dutchman, so. Yeah. Oh, Gush goes off on the Venomancer. Uh, Ulti from Queen of Pain finishes almost finishes off uh, both Venomancer and Tidehunter, but brings them down long enough to Crystal Mane and Morana get the last hit on them. And Asia Separation is on the retreat. Um, still uh, gets a little bit of harassment, but uh, the die back off. Sorry, Avalanche backs off. Gotta use names. Gotta use names. And Crush now thinks about going to the top lane, but he's, yeah, he's too not. late. He's too late. Yeah, he's he's waiting for the rune spot or yeah, warding there. Um, rune is on the bottom lane now. Oh, going for the rune on the bottom lane, yes. And um, yeah, other than that, Mirana now. Bot, yeah, but no, nothing, nothing special. Just good level skin. So he's going for the Mir uh, for the Yasha, I think. I think um, they they want to get a gank in on uh, on Crush. Yeah, but one thing, yeah, it's it's hard to gank even with those with the disruption. Yeah, definitely, so. especially if he's able to get two of uh, of them in uh, in one go with the thingy. Oh, uh, frostbite goes off on Crush. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, no, she's fine. But one yeah, power uh, shot through might finish him off, but it doesn't doesn't hit. Sorry. Yeah, and the Queen of Pain got away. <laughs> with 15 HP. That was the the, st the charges of the Shadow Demon, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Shadow Demon. Yeah. So much and damage. And also of the, the Demonic Purge, which deals yeah. damage as well as fast uh, as soon as it, run it runs out. So she has to back off too. Yep, definitely. But yeah, she was lucky and she got out there. And yeah. also uh, yeah, the Shadow Demon, so no kill for either side. No, I don't think it was uh it was worth it for the Windrunner to leave her lane. Uh, she missed out on uh, she missed out on farm. She missed out on experience. Definitely not worth it. Yep. Um, so um, she's just not getting any farm at the moment. No. Uh, either so. Taking the farm. Yeah, thirty-four for fifty. Thirty-four for the winter runner. Fifty last hits for the sand king. That's a huge difference right there. Ooh, we might see tight hunter in trouble. She's gonna get ganked also from the venom. Uh, for, sorry, from the crystal main coming for in from behind. Uh, there are no trees there, so he's just gonna be able to to walk through. But if he's gonna be able to get out, it's a different story. And never mind. Last hit goes to uh, Marana. Actually, the the ulti from uh, Queen of Pain would have finished uh, him off also, but Marana got him first. So that's a bit of a wasted Queen of Pain ulti. Ooh, nice oh. arrow, but the arrow doesn't hit. He, she does get the. Uh, shout off, but uh, not a slow thingy. And instead, Crush wants to go for the Queen of Pain. And uh, yeah, she is in a little bit of trouble. Oh, she has blink, so uh, she blinked fine. a bit weird, though. But yeah, she's gonna be able to get away from that, even though uh, yeah, she she would have stayed a little bit longer. She would have so died, so died. <laughs> yeah, but it's, I mean. She has a okay. The blink is on level one, so it has a very no, a long cooldown, 12 seconds. But yeah, she's for now she's fine. Uh, in, yeah, the range. Oh, the haste rune will make her fine. Picks up range, and now she's ro rotating to the bottom lane. But they can't really do anything against the tanking because he's he has. A s they don't have anything against him I believe. No, no but they, they have the power shot that goes through him and lane, the uh, Queen of Pain ulti, even though that's on cooldown. Oh, Vengeful Spirit killing off Venomancer on the top lane. Yeah, With, uh, no, some help the no, they're not going for Mirana. Gush goes on Mirana just for harassment, uh, I guess. And Crystal Maiden is back on the top lane. Yeah, and on the bottom lane, they're really they're initiating on Black, but the Queen of, uh, Queen of Pain already used or doesn't have the ultimate. Otherwise, uh, he would have been dead. Yeah, and black, but he's completely fine. He will just um, probably walk back to the base, but they might. No, they won't no. be able to, uh, to. No, I thought they wanted to push the tower, maybe, but. And the home black even comes back in again because. It's deferation, also, he did hit on her, but. Is, will he be able to get it? He has a full mana bar, so maybe if he throws in everything that he has. Don't think if that would be the right thing to do, though. Uh, and and Windrunner is, is on her way back also, so that's a smart thing to do for her. Just in case, uh, we have some blinks going out on the visibility room that's being picked up by the Venomancer. I think they want still want to go for Crush. Four of the of Team Avalanche are in the middle. Yeah, and they might even no. He's he. I don't know. They, he he, he, he saw them picking saw up them, the room yeah. definitely. So, so uh, yeah, he should be pretty fine. The Titaners there as well to back him up and. 
I don't see them. Well, no. Oh, he's over stuffing his uh, boundaries again. Oh, the Gale misses, so the slow isn't on. And But he gets a lot of damage, also from the Ramana being there. Queen of Pain shout is on. Age of Separation is going to hit three heroes and actually gets the kill on the Queen of Pain. Venomancer is on the run, kills off by the, gets killed off by the Shadow Demon. Uh, taking damage. A power shot goes off, but doesn't really hit anyone. Last hit for the Crystal Maiden is for the Vengeful Spirit, who just... Uh, Nuked her with his uh, with her stun. Uh, Windrunner is in trouble with the cold feet and is will still get uh, stunned. But uh, yeah, the tower is doing too much of harassment. Power shot goes through, but doesn't hit anybody anymore. And that is a uh, eh, decent trade, I would say. I would say Tide Hunter Shadow Demon for a Queen of Pain and a Crystal Maiden. Quite even. Quite even. Yeah, definitely quite even. And and both didn't overextend. No, I think. Shadow Demon or the cr uh, Crush went in a bit pretty much um, a, a bit too aggressive there. Shadow. Because he knew, yeah. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Uh, so he knew there that uh, that someone was around there, so I don't know. It was a little bit too aggressive there, maybe. But yeah, and, and if the gear would have hit properly, that would have been a lot better. But it it just didn't. <laughs> yeah. Which is a shame. Yeah, definitely. And now the Queen of Pain initiating on the Sand King. He's out the oh, oh, he gets teleported just in time. Queen of Pain ulti didn't finish him off. So close. If she would have just waited until the power shot was there, or until uh, Mirana was there, they would have had a kill. But she was a she was a soldier. Went in by herself. <laughs> Double damage rune on the Crystal Maiden, who's gonna get caught out by the Tide Hunter and the Age of Apparition. And uh, last it goes to uh, Age of Apparition that she just doesn't have any health. And does she even have boots yet? Yes, she does have boots, so that's something. And... Ooh! Uh, this uh, Venomancer is gonna go down. Age of Apparition ulti hits, but not on a Venomancer. Venomancer... <gasps> Venomancer lives! Venomancer lives! <laughs> uh, for yeah. now. Barely. He might still be able to... survives there. No, it doesn't do have enough range for the Shadow Poison to he reach it. Shadow Poison, so annoying. Yeah, and we might want to take a look at the Gold Craft and the Experience Craft. They are both heavily in favor of the Radiant right now. Yeah, 4K. Or of Enro. And yeah, 4K, yeah. And so. uh, yeah, over 4K experience difference. That's, uh, that's a lot. And but yeah. uh, both teams aren't really pushing. Uh, apart from now, where the top tower is being pushed by Renox. And uh, probably will go down. But not by Renex itself because he is backing off, and he should be because the Queen of Pain is there, and uh, it's good. Queen of Pain is gonna try to get a deny on the tower, and, uh, and it succeeds. Windfarmer is hanging around there as well, so yeah. no, but the um, Renex backs off e even more, so yeah. Yeah, I think uh, the pushing has started for uh, for Team N, or they they now blink on the tier one tower in the middle. Yeah, and Black is pushing the oh, was actually tower on the bottom of the line as well. Yeah, it was actually uh, a blink from the from the team Avalanche. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but they do seem to be wanting to push this uh, this tower. It was all fine with all these kills going back and forth, but uh, towers are needed, and they know that. Yeah, to get some map control and oh, well, some good gold. And um, Mirana yeah. might be. No, Arrow she's misses. Oh, she is uh, being harassed a lot by the by Crush and Asian Depression. Oh, actually, Shadow Demon finished her off. But uh, I thought the Asian Depression also finished off. But it was uh, it was nice. She would have died anyway. But regardless. Yeah. And now they're initiating on Queen of Pain in the middle lane, but yeah, he blinks away. It's totally fine there. Um, and they might think about defending the tower, but Venomancer is not putting up some wards, because which is kind quite strange, I think. Uh, because uh, they were powerful to defend a tower. Yeah. So, oh no, finally it starts putting off. But yeah, maybe a little bit too late. He won't get up his wall of wards there. Nope. The heavy push incoming. It won't, uh, won't be enough. And they're, they're not even going to take the effort to kill off the wards. Even nope. though the tower was. Oh, nice Queen of Pain ulti reaching three heroes. Uh, Ancient Apparition ulti goes off though and, and get manages to get a kill on the Queen of Pain. Uh, but the defense was there and the Dire. D uh, sorry, uh, Enro does have to back off. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if it was. Ooh, Vengeful Spirit finishing off Windrunner on the top lane. I, I don't think that uh, the kill of uh, Queen of Pain in the middle was worth the defending of the tower. Maybe it was. 
But no, not really, because I mean the tower is almost down anyway, so they probably should have just let it fall. Because um, yeah, because the Queen of Pain, it's it's like they're. I mean, it's together with Murano, it's, it's, it's their mid-game carry, I would suppose. Um, yeah, and she deals, she deals a lot most damage, so she really needs some some good items up to to get in there and yeah, and deal the damage before she dies. Yeah. So yeah, she before she dies. Die right, yeah. Uh, good word. <laughs> yeah, she can't afford to die too often, and yeah. There right is a. Too. Yeah, the, the highest, with the highest the highest farmed hero on the map is. Uh, it's the Bl Sand King. Uh, of, the ri of the Team Avalanche, it's, uh, it's the Windrunner with 61's last hit, and there's three heroes above that for the. for the. for Enro Griffins. So. Yeah. They are really lacking in the farm on Avalanche at the moment. And yeah, they need they some the show set with 7.5k in the in favor of the yeah. radiant. Yeah, solid uh, line going up. Don't know how you say that. Oh yeah, and now they they are yeah they want to push the tower on the bottom now. They pinged on it and. And we'll oh, crush is gonna be found uh, on the bottom lane, but there is a. Cr Crystal Maiden getting totally caught out. She didn't stand a chance, and uh, the kill goes to Crush. Oh, on the bottom, uh, on the top lane, we have. Ooh, arrow doesn't going. hit. Ooh. Yeah, it was okay. arrow that doesn't hit. Uh, Queen of Pain pops her bottle. Vengeful yeah, Spirit is getting quite a bit of farm. Yeah, <laughs> Vengeful Spirit has Yasha now, and um, might be looking at uh, Mana Style anytime soon. Yeah, oh, in the middle lane, though, we have a big team fight. Venomans are Vengeful gonna go down. <laughs> Yeah, Sun King. Uh, Venomans early still went off and, and hit at least uh, hit at least Crush and uh, and Black. Power goes through a uh, little bit of harassment. There is a Queen of Pain. What is she doing there? Queen of Pain oh. did finish off the Age of Deprivation, but it was so not worth dying for. She no. killed off by the Sand King. Tight ultimates go off. Go off. Uh, went off. Wow. Anchor Smash went also off, and, but it doesn't. he's not able to do anything anymore. Frostbite on the Tidehunter, who's going to be in a little bit of trouble as the arrow is going to hit him. And Gale goes off, and he will die from this. Last hit goes to the Windrunner. There comes the Epicenter from Black, and he finishes off Crystal Maiden, and uh, wants to get out. He has the Blink Dagger, so he will be able to get into safety, and they just don't bother going on in him anyway. Uh, rather defending the tower instead. There was a nice uh, revenge kill for the Tidehunter that died there. Yeah, very good play, played by Black, and we're well played by Black, and yeah. that's the problem with all those squishy heroes, they will die so fast as Epicenter. Yeah, especially since Epicenter is level 2, and yeah, yeah we already saw the experience graph difference, uh, but yeah, the the levels just show that. Uh, this Crystal Maiden is still level 6, it's uh, painful. Yeah, definitely. And Stunting I mean is level 14. Yeah, he's the uh, highest hero in the game, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, most farm, the highest level, so yeah, he's just <laughs> ripping through he's the die right now. He's having a good time. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, and that's... I mean, they almost left him alone on the top, uh, on the bottom lane. The Windrunner couldn't really do much against him and... Uh, yeah. Facial Spirit might be in trouble here. Uh, still getting a, s a stun off on the Windrunner, but uh, Starstorm still does a little bit of damage. Here comes the Tidehunter being able to... Uh, to go for the for the Murana, who's in trouble now. Last hit for the Tide Hunter, and the stun goes off on the Windrunner once again. Burst strike is there and actually finishes off the crest of the wow the Windrunner. That was uh, s not a good chase. Definitely not. The rest of the dire no. is gonna come in here, and they might think about engaging. Uh, they find the Sand King. Sand King now knows that they are there. Um, are they actually gonna do something though? They are now have they now have the Sand King uh, locked. No, they don't. Power Strike misses on the Ven Venomancer. Venomancer uses his ulti right before he dies due to the... <laughs> due to the Sand King once again. Teleport came out from uh, someone who managed to get into safety. And the Age of Deparation is gonna go on, on, the, on the Queen of Pain who will probably die, but... That... Oh... Nice play from Black being able to get away from that. There comes the Age of Deparation finally. And he will just have to back off because he can't go versus the full HP Murana who just came back. He teleports, which is a smart thing to do. Sand King is still standing there. This Queen of Pain might find him. He does have mana, though. He does have mana. One burrow strike and one last hit, and he will get the kill. <laughs> teleports out afterwards. Qu Crystal Maiden gets the kill still before he teleports. Out. Nice kill for the Crystal Maiden, but 
Yeah, well played. Yeah, well played, and we see the kill difference of 24 to 11, so... Yeah, <sighs> the Radiant Dev... Sorry, uh, <laughs> Emerald Griffins definitely got the better of that. Radiant yeah. And now Black was 8 to 1 stats. Yeah, this wow, is actually the first time he died. You're right. Yeah, and they, they can't stop stop him right now. They, they He's over-leveled, he's over-farmed. He, uh, he can just channel his ultimate blink in, and yeah, he will just kill the whole team if they're not careful. And yeah. And, uh, we didn't even see his ultimate last fight, and they won it by a huge amount. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a cool time. Yeah. So we did see Crush going down. I wonder, I I kind of missed that one. I think. Crush going down. Mm, yeah, probably. He died for the second time. Yeah, and now the Andrew seems to put want to push into the middle lane. Um, yep, more teleports coming, coming in, out. so they're all no, all there except for Tidehunter. Um, Tidehunter needs some extra farm, I guess, and uh, it's also defending their bottom lane, and they don't really need Tidehunter at the moment. Oh, Windrunner is in trouble here, and did I see a Dagon? Oh, Christ! <laughs> yeah, I yeah. see a Dagon. <laughs> oh man, I should even have a Dagon. That's so painful. That is Ooh. painful, and uh, yeah, that Windrunner didn't Look stand that. a chance, and they wanna. Yeah. Uh, get those towers. Swap goes in on the Ven Venomancer and he won't have a chance either of getting stunned and uh, cold defeated. And the Crystal Maiden is just gonna die to the to the Sand King also, who still gets the hit by an arrow, but yeah, there's there's nothing to follow up on because, uh, oh well, the GG is called actually. All the tier 2 towers are still standing and the GG is called. Uh, go next is called also and we're gonna see a third game. Uh, second game. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think uh, Avalanche uh, were uh, aware that it was the best at a 3 version. Yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter because they would have dropped the little brackets otherwise and there they would have to play anyway, so... Yeah. yeah but, I mean... Ooh, Queen of Pain might still get a kill here! <laughs> no, never mind! <laughs> there was a stun, another stun, a gush! Just Ravage. so much damage out coming from uh, the Ravage. Did the Ravage go up? It did. So much damage out coming from the Radiant. Uh, the Tide Hunter has got a triple kill for a Queen of Pain. Go, Queen of Pain. It's a turnaround. Oh my god. Arrow yeah, misses on the Queen of Pain. Oh, never mind. Arrow misses on the Sand King, who will channel his ulti, <laughs> go for a burrow strike, and will be able to get the kill, but dies also. Ultra kill. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that was pretty good from the same thing. When I say, I mean... Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> password will be the same. <laughs> okay, now they show the password on the stream. On the stream. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> but yeah, well, we might. There's 129 people that are able to join what? now. You have so many viewers? So yep, nervous. yep, yep, yep. No, I'm, no, I'm really nervous. No, uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> no, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, we're just waiting until the throne will. Uh, yep, yeah. and everyone's boom. connected, so should be happening any moment. Yeah, all the die are disconnected. Tight hunters, the only one left in the game. Yeah. Explosion. And um, Tight hunter didn't even get to finish his pipe, but he almost. Oh, poor Tight hunter. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but he did finish his hood, which he only uh, got like a. There we go. Time. Yeah, and a dagger on the Shadim. Oh man, that's. Uh, uh, yeah, I that I was painful, trouble, and and it, and it kind of surprising also, as in yeah, for the for the radiant for the team F 